With the recent departure of Cristiano Ronaldo, I feel like it's the perfect time to rebuild Juventus. Since 2012, their reign of dominance over Italy was absolutely incredible. They've been Italian champions a total of 36 times, won the domestic cup over 25 times and been European champions only once. But they have just lost their top goal scorer for the past three seasons. They are currently sitting 12th in the league at the minute. But that's all going to change, guys, because by the end of this video, they're going to become European champions for the second time. Make sure you leave a comment down below on what team you want me to rebuild next i promise you guys are going to try and get through as many as i possibly can before fifa 22 comes around and as always if you do go on to enjoy today's video be sure to leave a like and smash that subscribe button let's see if we can hit 50 likes in this video and if you haven't seen one of my rebuild videos before here are the rules the main objective of this video is to win the champions league i can make any transfers that i want whilst keeping it as realistic as possible all games have to be simulated, but the Champions League final has to be played. In season one, we've got just under £100 million to spend. This is the team that we're currently working with. I do believe Morata is on loan there, so we won't have him for the next season. I'm not going to lie, guys. Apart from a couple of places, I feel like we're going to have to get rid of a couple of players. Chiellini, Binucci, I know that they are club legends, but they're just going to decrease, and I'd prefer to get the money for them now just to bolster the transfer budget a bit, just so we can buy a decent replacement for them. We're definitely going to have to get another right back. Both Danilio and Quadrado are getting on a bit. I want to keep Alexandro. He's 29 years of age, and he's 84 rated, so there's a good chance that he can go up a bit more. We are going to rock with another formation. I don't really like the 4-4-2 all that much. Dybala is going to be the centerpiece of this team. I've got a good idea on who I want to bring in, guys. I've got a feeling this team's going to be a monster team in a couple of seasons' time. We've made our first signing how can the portuguese right back from manchester city cost us 78 million pounds 26 years of age 85 rated he did used to play for you there do you believe so i thought it was quite fitted to bring him back i know a lot of people are gonna hate me for selling these guys but i feel like i have to in order to move the team forward so we saw chiellini to paris saint germain for 24.7 million pound we saw quadrado to spurs for 23 million pound and we saw Bonucci to barcelona for 24.7 million pound we have bought the uruguayan center back from atletico madrid jose maria jimenez he cost us 71.9 million pounds 25 years of age 84 rated he's going to be a beast alongside Matthias De Ligt. and that draws a conclusion to a very very busy first transfer window in season one this is how the team is looking I'm extremely happy guys Chicanchalo and Jimenez are going to make extremely good additions to this side the left winger and the right wingers Kulusevski and Chiesa they're going to come really good Chiesa's world-class player anyway if you guys watched him in the Euros he was unplayable at times and we all know what a goal man Kulusevski is in this game. He's 20 years of age, 79 rated. He's always so good when we come up against Juve in the Champions League. And we are, of course, in the Champions League this year. So let's go have a look who's in our group stage. Let's be honest, guys. If ourselves and Barcelona don't absolutely tear it up in this group, I don't know what to say. We're up against Barca, Dano Kiev, and Shamrock Rovers. Realistically speaking, they shouldn't pose any sort of threat to us at all. It should be us and Barcelona going through. But you never know what could happen. Let's go to the halfway point of this season and see if I'm right. As predicted, guys, Barcelona and ourselves have progressed to the knockout stages of the Champions League. Barcelona did do the double on us. They were the only games that we did lose in this competition so far. For the first season, it's not too bad. Barcelona are an extremely good outfit, but in a couple of seasons' time, I want to be wiping the floor with Barca. But with that being said, let's see what our next opponents are in the Champions League. We're up against PSG, guys. Okay, so we're up against Messi, Neymar, Mbappe, and Di Maria as a front four. Yeah, we're going to be in a bit of trouble. We are currently top of the league, followed very, very closely by Inter Milan. As it stands, it looks like it's between ourselves and Inter Milan, which isn't too surprising considering Inter Milan did win it last year. If we could win the league without Ronaldo this year, that would be a massive achievement considering he's been the top goal scorer for Juve for the past three seasons. We are in the round of 16 in the Coppa Italia. We're playing against Cagliari at home as well. We've been very inactive in the second transfer window of season one purely because we haven't got the funds to bring anybody in. And nobody actually came up with an offer for any of my players. So this is how the team is looking going into the second half of the first season. This is the team that will go up against PSG in the round of 16. And hopefully we can overpower the French Giants and do decent in the Champions League. I really don't want to go out in the round of 16. It'd be very anticlimactic for season one. But nevertheless, guys, they are our first opponents in the knockout stage. Just so let's get to that fixture. Just look at that team, man. Look at that team. Mbappe, Neymar, Messi, Luis Alberto, Jorginho, Wijnaldum, Gaia, Ramox, Marquinhos, Florenzi, and Donnarumma. 
guys, PSG have literally got a dream team. Our team's good, don't get me wrong, but I think PSG have got this in the bag. I'd be very surprised if we do make it out of the round of 16, but we are at home. Let's see what we can do. Can we get an advantage going into the second leg against... What the hell? Okay, so Arthur's doing bits for us at the minute. He gets a brace against PSG. What is going on here? I can't believe with the front three of Neymar, Messi and Mbappe, they can't even score. That's crazy, guys. It's literally ours to lose in the round of 16. We're 2-0 up on aggregate. It's not away goals, but we still got a 2-0 aggregate advantage going into the second leg. We are very, very good away from home as we keep proving time and time and time again in these rebuild videos. I don't think PSG have made any changes at all. Their team looks exactly the same. They have, however, brought in Kalo Navas for Donnarumma in this game. But it is PSG with all the work to do. They've got a mountain to climb. They are at home, though, so they do have the advantage. But nevertheless, guys, can we book our place in the quarterfinals and knock out the French Giants? We do as well. We actually knock out Paris Saint-Germain in the round of 16. Our journey continues in the Champions League. Okay, this has got the makings of an extremely interesting quarterfinal. We are up against Inter Milan, the Italian Giants themselves. I must say, though, guys, I thought Inter Milan's team was a bit better than that, but on paper, it doesn't look that good. They've got Scrinia and Dervish, who are world-class centre-backs. We've got Perisic, you've got Correa, you've got Sanchez, Morel, who's absolutely insane. Got Handanovic. It's a good team, don't get me wrong. I just thought it'd be a lot better than that. I mean, compared to our team, I think we've got this in the bag, to be honest. We're at home again in the first leg, so hopefully we can replicate our first leg performance against PSG, bring that form into this tie against Inter Milan, and get us a decent advantage going into the second leg. We batter them as well. We beat them 3-1 at home. Inter Milan have an absolute mountain to climb. We did go one goal down originally, courtesy of Dia. Ambrosio goal in the 21st minute, then Murata equalises just under the 30th minute. Arthur then gets a goal in the 34th, and Arthur gets another one in the 79th minute. Arthur's playing out of his pants. Could this be another one season wonder? We are 3-1 up on aggregate. We are going into this game extremely confident. Our form is top notch. It's ours to lose, guys. If we somehow don't manage to go through to the semi-finals, I really don't know what to tell you. Inter Milan have to pull off an absolute world-class performance in order to get any chance of booking their place in to the semi-finals but nevertheless guys we're away from home we know how good we are away from home let's see if we can replicate that form and bring it into oh my god we've done it again 3-1 we beat them 6-2 on aggregate guys what is going on we're absolutely wiping the floor with everybody in the champions league this time let's see who our opponent is in the semi-finals we are now facing atalanta in the semi-finals and i would argue that this is the easiest team we will come up against in this stage of the competition we've already beaten psg we've already beaten inter milan and i would argue that they are far stronger than Atalanta. They do have an half decent team though. They've got Illicic, they've got Zapata, they've got Muriel, they've got Darun, Gozens. But other than that, guys, I wouldn't say that their team's that strong at all. But they are in the semi finals for a reason, so we can't take them lightly at all. We are at home in the first leg, and we know how well we've been doing at home this season. So let's replicate that form and put it to good use and gain advantage going into the second leg. We do as well. We are 2 0 up going into the second leg. It is literally ours to lose. We are one win away from the final. If I'm going to be honest with you guys, without sounding big-headed at all, I don't think Atalanta's got what it takes to knock us out from the position there. And they're 2-0 down on aggregate. I don't think their team's as good as ours. So I think we've got a very, very good chance of sealing the deal and booking our place in the Champions League final in the first season of this rebuild. But enough droning on. Let's see if we can actually book our place in the final after all. We absolutely annihilate them on aggregate. We are 4-0 up on aggregate. We book our place in the Champions League final. The question question remains though can we do it in the first season just like we did with Liverpool let's see who our opponent is we're up against Bayern Munich in the Champions League final what a game this would be right now if they played and it is the first season as well so they're gonna have Lewandowski they're gonna have Nabry, Komen all those amazing players but before we get into the Champions League final let's see how we've done elsewhere this season we are Italian champions once again guys we've pipped Inter Milan to the post by two points we've been absolutely dominant the entire season it is brilliant to see we won the Coppa Italia as well, beating Lazio 2-0 in the final. That's the double as well. We also did win the Super Coppa against Napoli 3-2, so that's the treble. If we win the Champions League final against Bayern Munich, that would be the quadruple, and that would be the first time we've done this in this rebuild series. And Real Madrid did beat their rivals, Atletico Madrid, 3-1 in the Europa League final. Now, looking at the stats, guys, these three players that have really carried this team this year. Alvaro Morata has gone up to 84 rated and bagged himself 29 goals and 3 assists 
assists. That's a bloody really good going, that is. Dybala has gone up to 89 rated, bagging himself 27 goals and 11 assists from the central attacking midfield role. That is insane. And Federico Chiesa has got himself 26 goals and assisting too and going up to 84 rated in this season. That is absolutely phenomenal from the left hand side of the pitch. Guys, we've done absolutely tremendous in this season. There's only one way to cap it off, getting the quadruple and beating Bayern Munich in the Champions League final. Bayern Munich really do confuse me. Gonna, yeah, yeah, whatever his name is. Yes, we do. We find him. Oh my god, we, we, we're in acres of room here. We got up against Martinez. Can we take Martinez out of the game? Can we have a shot? Oh, I guess blocked. That's great defending from Bayern Munich. One two, one two. That one two. That one two. That it's one two. It is one two. Can we get this in? Oh, bloody hell! We're tearing it apart on the right hand side of the field, guys. They can't attack it. Oh god, no, 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 no. Lewandowski's away, and we're gonna take him clear out of the Jimenez. Oy, oy, oy. The ball's on the ball. Can we get that one two with Morata? Morata, can we fight? Oh my god, we dinked it over. Can we get it onto his left foot? Oh, bloody hell! Bayern Munich again, so lucky. It's ridiculous. I don't like this. The ball is not where I want it to be right now. Go oh, no, 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 no. Goretzka has no right being able to do that to us. Why is he doing that to us? Cancelo, take care of this. Thank the Lord for that. Right, Arthur, find the right time to do it. Oh my God, please, please tell me he's going to get to... Oh, Martinez is like ancient. Isn't he, like, isn't he got like 35 pace? Chaser. Chaser's on the ball. Chaser's on the ball. Oh my God. Chaser, can he, can he do something here? Oh, oh. For God's sake! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! How 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 is Neuer saving all these? We're under the counter attack, guys. Lewandowski's on the foot. No, no, I beg, I beg. Oh my god! Thank you, thank you. Arthur's on the ball. Can we find it? Oh, what? No, not there. Oh, that's just completely ruined that move. Right. Use the pace. Use that pace. Can we find someone? Can we find anyone? Arthur. Why is Bayern Munich so good at defending? And that is half time after all, guys. That is half time. And we go into the half time break at deadlock. Nil, nil. And I'll be honest with you guys, we've been absolutely battering Bayern Munich. Just take a look at the stats, man. Bayern Munich aren't even in this game. We need to take our chances a bit better. He might not out with Morata being up top for us, to be honest. We might have to change that. Ihatran is going in that central attacking midfield role, and Dybala is replacing Morata up top. Let's see if this works. Cancelo, Cancelo, Cancelo is wide open on this right hand side. Nobody's with him though. He's gonna have to go all the way. He's gonna have to go all the way. Can can we? Oh no, we can't. Oh my god. Oh bloody hell! Fire, Chaser, guys. Chaser's on the ball. Chaser, Chaser, Chaser. Can we find someone? Can we find anyone? Dybala. Oh my god. Dib oh bloody hell. Oh what a ball, Chaser. Chaser's through. Chaser is through. Can we make this one nil? Oh my god, we've done it as well. We have made it one nil. Thank. The Lord, it has taken so long. It has taken so many shots. But after the 60-minute mark, we have finally broken the deadlock in this Champions League final. We make it 1-0 to Juve, and it has been a long time coming. It's an absolutely brilliant ball from Iataran. Chiesa has got the pace, and he just absolutely smashes that top right bins. We are 1-0 up. It is ours to lose now. 
Alexandro, can we find Chaser? Chaser is through again. Chaser's through again. Can we get a new post? And we made it 2 0. It is officially done. It is game over. Bayern Munich aren't coming back from this. I'm making sure of that. Chaser with the brace, guys. Honestly, near posting now against Neue. We, we've This game is dead and buried now. Bayern Munich are putting us under some serious pressure now, guys. They've really turned the heat up. I can't get this ball away. Finally, finally, we get this ball away. Thank God for that. And there it is, guys. There it is. We have finally put this game to bed. And we are officially European champions for the second time in Juve's club history. Make sure you leave a comment in the comment section down below on what team you want me to rebuild next. I promise you guys, I'm not ignoring any of them. It's just it takes me a while to do some teams. So be patient with me. If it doesn't happen in FIFA 21, it will definitely happen in FIFA 22. If you do go on to enjoy today's video, be sure to leave a like and smash that subscribe button. It really does help with the growth of the channel. Can we hit 50 likes on this video? It would mean a hell of a lot if we could hit that target. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, I'll see you later.